Would you still use Reddit if it had the anonymity aspect taken away? Why or why not? Leave a comment about your thoughts on the question. Nope. I removed myself from every platform that had that because I was constantly comparing myself to other real people, wishing I had what they had, and it was not healthy for me. Yeah, I have no clue who any of you are, and it's been an incredibly healthy shift while still allowing some exposure to social media. I think this is important, but using Reddit only is more or less healthier in function to what sub you are subscribed to. I unsubscribed from all the aggressive subs like Instant Karma, Porn Fight Ek. Cause they gave me anxiety after a while. I try to just stick to hobby and music discussion, but the Reddit algorithm loves to shove controversial or provocative content in your face even if you try to avoid it. Yeah, I periodically do some sub housekeeping and my rule of thumb is, does this sub make me feel better or worse after viewing its content? If the answer is negative, I unsub. Mood. I had to unsub from a ton of subs BC they were stressing me out too much. Like insane parents, all that sub provides me is anxiety and anger. This. Me too, totally. I love this. I'm currently on a social media detox and I thought I was stupid for still using Reddit but I need some exposure to social media, I can't just completely cut it out, but this made me feel better thanks stranger. Yay, just make sure that you're not like fully replacing the time you would have been spending on the other social media sites with spending more time on Reddit. That's the trap. If you have to, get an app that limits time spent in other apps. I almost had to do that, because I went from like 5 hours per day of all social media, to 5 hours per day of just Reddit. It was an addiction which is an issue apart from what I mentioned in my main comment. Scaled it back with my own willpower, but was definitely on the verge of wanting to use the app to babysit me since I had no impulse control. Exactly. I do not know who the fuck you are, I don't care who you are and I'll probably never see another comment from you. Smiley day to you. I removed myself from all other social media because I was sick of seeing people I knew in public that I now know are complete morons because they had to rant their opinions for all to see. This way I don't avoid everyone I see. This is exactly why I deleted Facebook. I can get along better with acquaintances if I don't see what they post online that they wouldn't say in real life. Kudos on unplugging from social media. Could not have said it better myself. Seeing that guy who you know is an absolute piece of shit garbage human being living an absolutely perfect looking life is so fucking discouraging. Give me all of the anonymity. I did the same thing a couple years ago. No more Twitter or Snapchat. Deleted tons of Facebook friends, it's really only for family now. Deleted a lot of friends from Instagram, now it's more for comedians and musicians. But I use Reddit way more than both combined and it's way more satisfying, entertaining and enjoyable. I upload videos every day, so subscribe to get updates regularly. I have a master's degree in physics. Bo before me. S. P.S. I'm unemployed at the moment. Sad face. I totally get where you're coming from, DJ 92 wa it's easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others on social media and feeling like we're not measuring up. That's why I love the anonymity aspect of Reddit, it takes away that pressure to present a perfect image of ourselves. Plus, it's so much easier to have genuine conversations when you don't have to worry about impressing anyone. I'm glad you found a healthy balance here. Same here. Are you Batman? Fuck if I know. And I like it that way. This is me right now. Instagram is the last straw for me. I'm gonna delete it and start over completely anonymous because I enjoy following artists there. IRL people can kick rocks. Please heal. Happy for you man. Know your limits and know thyself. Oh wow I thought we had a thing together the other day and now you say you don't even know me. I've been off mainstream social media for a few months. I use TikTok now and again to laugh, and Reddit for hobbies. My friends have asked where I've been, and I've told them I just want to feel truly alone and not always bothered by keeping up with social media. Facebook and Instagram feel like chores. 
It's felt so good being my introverted self, not having to put on a show for the cameras. I've really had a desire to just feel completely alone. When I was growing up in the 90s, I was alone a lot. I really miss how it feels to have zero contact with the rest of the world. Whenever I learn something from a comment, it is great because it's like some nice stranger saw me struggling at something and told me how to do it right. I had the same issue, which lead me to unfriend a lot of people I had on Facebook but haven't talked to in years, others I just stopped following so I would still appear as their friend but my feed wouldn't have their posts. I still keep my profile up because of FB dating and in case I need to talk with any distant relatives. Once I have my own home, I'll move on with my life and delete it along with all the other medias I had. I feel like Reddit is that one corner of the internet where people can be authentically themselves and where it hasn't been consumed by hatred, e.g. in the same way that 4chan has been. No, that's the one thing it has going for it. Absolutely not. That's just asking to get crucified in the court of public opinion because someone thinks you said something you didn't, or you try to offer a moderate, reasoned opinion in a rabid hate sub. Yes. I only post or comment stuff that I would say directly to someone's face. Same. I don't participate in any subs I'm embarrassed of, either. Hey, my friend, we appreciate your support, and would love it if you could be OOP the like button. Yeah, same here and it's kind of, alarming. That so many people are immediately like, oh god hell no what if people found out what I post. My wife knows my account name and I've never had any problem with that, and if I'm comfortable with her knowing I'm fine with anyone else knowing. My most controversial opinions are about Star Wars and my left-wingish politics, which neither is a secret for my family and friends, so yeah who cares? You can be polite, civil and non-controversial while still preferring anonymity. I'm not saying you are claiming otherwise but I think it's worth mentioning and discussing. I don't know why I'm wired to want to minimize my online presence, I just do. I don't have any social networking accounts outside of LinkedIn and really have no desire to have any. It might be odd because I'm fairly extroverted and have little difficulty making new acquaintances and friends. There is a pretty wide chasm between something I'm cool with my close friends knowing and something I'm cool with random acquaintances, work colleagues, neighbors, dates, etc. finding out. Should no one have a place to privately discuss interpersonal or workplace struggles, mental or physical health, sexuality, gender, etc.? Should I not have the right to keep any thoughts and interests I choose separate from my public persona, even if someone else finds them absolutely benign? That you don't have anything to hide isn't the point. No one is entitled to the interior lives of others, and we should all be able to control what we choose to share. Fuck no what I let people know I love me some BBW. Everyone around me is a health nut. I get shit on if I miss a gym day, hell broke loose once because I suggested fast food. Should I care? Obviously not. Do I crave social acceptance from those around me? Obviously. Fuck no. The people on here already report comments they don't like as suicidal. I don't need cops showing up at my house because I called someone's favorite politician a racist. Your username broke me. I think main advantage of Reddit is its anonymity. No. No. No, I would not. I came here for the stories and other things that people post out of anonymity and most of that would be gone if so. Nope. It's not safe to document your actual beliefs online in an account that is tied to your name. Nope. Though my partner knows what I'm up to here at least. I would not. I know some use this to their advantage by trolling others with no consequences. But there are a lot more people, myself included, that use the anonymity to ask or answer questions that they wouldn't feel comfortable doing with friends and family. No, my anxiety wouldn't allow it. Nope. I'd read and never comment or actually sign up. It would turn into Facebook. Next thing my mom would be reading about my sex life. Also having opinions and PPL being able to identify you is not good. This is why Facebook is boring. 
For X, PPL can be openly trans on here, they won't get murdered or arrested. This. And people with toxic or abusive families can find support and community on Reddit, whereas you absolutely cannot even hint about these issues in most places without dealing with severe judgment.